What's up guys, Wylung Customs here, and today we are doing a blog, blog, blog. I'm actually driving to work. I don't normally drive to work because I live in the city and I take the subway. Uh, but today is a little bit of a unique, unique day because um, I need to pick, leave work early to pick up my fiance and get her wedding dress. So I thought today would be a nice all out day blog what I do, what I'm going to be doing. We'll talk obviously about toys and movies and stuff like that and whatnot. But, uh, you know, just throw, throw a video out there because I haven't been putting a lot of videos out. I've been busy, man. I've been busy, guys. I am getting married in, in a month. Yeah. So, literally, if I'm not working, all of my time goes to planning the wedding, doing wedding stuff. So... You guys know how it is. Well, actually, you probably don't, but you will. You will eventually know how it is. It's going to be the busiest month. So, we're pretty good. Um, but yeah, so that's why I haven't been really active on making videos because I just don't have any time. You know, all my weekends they go to going out, buying stuff, planning stuff, meeting people. Just how it is. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about some stuff. So, uh, later on in this video, when I go back to Long Island, um, that's where I'm dropping off the wedding dress at my family. Um, I actually bought some stuff online, so that should be fun to pick up. I finally got my hands on a new Marvel Legends Colossus figure, so I'm pretty happy about that. I was able to get a retail for 19 bucks, I think, on Amazon. One of the lucky few. Um, I know now it's shot up to like 50 bucks or something like that, or like 48. So don't pay retail, guys. Just wait out. You know, I mean, do pay retail. Don't pay the high prices. Just wait for it. Um, surprisingly, I know I know a lot of people have been getting it in stores in other states, but you know, New York sucks, so we don't get anything. You gotta wait. You either buy everything online, or if you get it in stores, it's gonna be like a big pothole. You know, it comes like a month and a half to two months later behind everyone else. So, if you're lucky to find it online, you get it online. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I still have a lot of reviews to do. I got <sighs> Mezco Batman, Normal Suit, Mezco Captain America. I really want to open those up. My, I'm itching to open those up. Um, what else is there? Wow, oh, some other stuff. Ugh. This traffic's killer. Like I said, I don't take this. I, don't, I never drive to work. It's ridiculous. And plus, you have to find parking. Um, but tra city traffic is ridiculous. New York City traffic in the morning. Like, it's taking me like almost an hour to get up here. I live downtown. My work is at 66th Street. And this is ridiculous. Yeah, I normally don't do this because, you know, I got there's no parking for a car in the city, you know, park at a garage. I'm only doing this one day today because my fiance's dress is actually about <clears throat> five, six blocks away from my work, so it makes no sense for me to go all the way back downtown, get my car, and go all the way back up, so. Yeah, but it's fun, it's fun. So, you know, did you guys like the trailers that came out last week or somewhat you know we got the justice league trailer uh we've got the spider-man homecoming i have to say between the two obviously i love the justice league trailer more i thought it was great they made jason momoa look like a freaking rock star man he is awesome him and the flash would be the best parts of that movie definitely in my opinion aquaman uh batman and wonder woman would be fine you know they're always awesome anyway uh, but yeah, introducing introducing those two, they'll be rock stars. Cyborg, you know, I'm still waiting on him to see how I feel. I, I, I love the character, you know, from comic books, from cartoons, especially the animated cartoons. I love him, in, um, but CGI kind of gets you like a little iffy, but it's too early. They'll make it better, of course, you know, so it's fine. Um, yeah, and then Spider-Man trailer. Spider-Man trailer, you know, I liked it. But like everyone else says, they wait, they showed way too much. Way too much, you know. You know the whole story already. 
he takes place after Civil War, so he's Spider-Man, he has a new suit, he's cool. Um, he wants to be a better Spider-Man, he wants to be a bigger, better hero, he wants to be like the Justice League, I mean, uh, like the Avengers. So he bites off more than he can chew. Tony Stark says, you know, just chill out, you're fine, don't worry about it, right? You're gonna grow into it. He doesn't listen, he tries to go up against the Vulture, fails, epic fail. Tony Stark warned him. He said, you know, like, give me back the suit. And he's like, I'm not, I'm nothing without this suit. And then Tony's like, oh, if you think like that, then you're not, you shouldn't be a hero at all. Signifying that the suit, the technology, the armor does not make the hero. Just like in Iron Man 3, you know, when Tony Stark didn't have his suit for a while. And he just used his brain to be a good, you know, to get stuff done. Uh, so yeah, so now Spider-Man doesn't have the suit anymore, but he has a revelation. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna do this for myself because I gotta prove to myself that I am Spider-Man. <laughs> and then he gets, he puts on his own suit though, uh, and then he, I guess, he defeats the Vulture, right? And then uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the movie, right? And I don't think Iron Man's gonna help him because if Iron Man has to help him defeat the Vulture, then it's an Iron Man movie. Or it's an Iron Man Spider Man movie. So, you can't have that. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they showed way too much. I mean, I, I just told you the, a basic summary of the whole movie, and it was just from a trailer. Dude, this guy's not moving up. I want to smash this guy's. He's a whole car in front of him. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, the trailer was great, though. I love the visuals. I mean, nitpicking it a little bit. We had that scene where he was holding the sh the the the, the Stat Staten Island Ferry together. It looks exactly like Spider-Man Two with Tobey Maguire when he was holding the trains. You know, can't be you know losing some creativity there. You know, so. But yeah, maybe I mean, why did they show? Why did they put so much into the trailer for? You know, I don't know. I hate when they do that. Like, even for the Avengers movie when they. They, they put a scene where Iron Man's falling and Thor and the Hulk caught him in midair. You know, that was pretty cool in the trailer. But you're like, wait a minute. I think I know. And, you know, they just spoil the scene. So, like, when you're watching the Avengers and Iron Man saves the day with the missile and falls down, you know someone's going to catch him. So now, when we watch that movie, entering the, <clears throat> entering the Staten Island ferry scene, you know how it's going to end. Captain Mar uh, Iron Man's going to come in and save the day. So I, 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 don't, I hate when they do that, you know. Uh, and it looks like a pretty dramatic, you know, intense scene of him. Like, oh no, the boat's falling apart. I gotta hold it together. Can he do it? You know, if we didn't know Iron Man was coming, that'd have been a lot better. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, whew, what else is there? Yeah, other than that, um, the new tit Teen Titans animated movie came out. Uh, the Judas, right? Contract, I think it was called. So that's pretty cool. I watched like the first like five to minutes of it, and it looks pretty interesting. And I'm gonna watch it at work. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how that goes. So be, I'm gonna be editing this video throughout the whole day. So I'll give you a nice unspoiler review of what I think about it. But so far, it looks pretty good. Um, the dynamic between Sunfire and Nightwing is pretty cool. I like I like seeing Nightwing. So. Um, and I can't wait for the DC icons to release a Nightwing figure. Um, so that, that would be pretty nice. Um, the DC icons are pretty good now. You know, I, I was a little bit, you know, I didn't like them in the beginning. You know, obviously the, the figures are small. Um, a little bit smaller than your normal six inch figures. Really good for SH figure arts. But like I said, if you want to match them up with the other figures in your six inch collection, you can have to do some mix and matching. Like I said, there's some characters that benefit from the small size, like females or smaller male figures. So some of them are pretty good. Like I like my Blue Beetle, he's awesome. Um, <clears throat> I, think, I think that's about it. Uh, but um, but yeah, I, I know they had that new, that Justice League pack that came out recently for like a hundred bucks. And all the figures are actually a little bit more updated and bigger from what I've seen in picture comparisons that people have been posting. So, um, like they posted the picture with that Superman, with the old Superman. You can see 
the bodies are a lot different. The new ones are about a little bit bigger, so I actually might pick it up. I was hesitant at first, but now that they're a little bit bigger, um, I might pick it up because if Batman's bigger, if Superman's bigger, um, it might be more worth it, to be honest, because the original Batman figure from that DC Icons was pretty small. I know there was a debate either if that was even Bruce Wayne or it was Nightwing. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, Dick Grayson, I mean. But So I'll probably pick it up um, when I have time. And when that review will come out, I have no idea. But I'll post pictures at least so you guys follow me on Instagram and stuff like that. And Facebook. But yeah, I'm still in traffic getting to work. What street am I on? 47th. You're almost kind of there. Not really. But, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. This is why I don't... I haven't driven to work, work, in like, since I was in college. It's ridiculous. Always, because, um, when I used to live at home, back in Long, Long Island, you know, I would drive to work, because that's how you get to work. But in the city, you just, uh, take the subway. It's a lot easier. Can't believe all these people drive all all day. It's ridiculous. I would never be able to do this. I know people in Cali always complain, or rightfully so, that Cali, California traffic is the worst. Um, living in the suburbs or in you know the city, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I went to LA once and I experienced it, but. Ugh, driving to work sucks. Because <laughs> usually when I drive to work, you know, that's straight, pretty much a straight ride. It's about like 20 minutes. I read my comic books. I watch my cartoons, you know. It's a great time just to relax. That's why I get all my entertainment in. Now, I have to make sure I don't die. Because, you know, city people, drivers, especially the cab drivers, are just ruthless don't signal cut you off bad stuff all right i think that's for now let me we'll edit the video maybe i'll show you guys where i work i'm not gonna tell you where i work i'll show you i think that'd be a little bit nicer to look at all right just parked the car uh, pretty cool. Why don't you use Parker yourself uh, and you get a ticket. So, all right, so let's get up to the office. But actually, I might stop by in front of the building so you can see where I work. All right, this is where I work. I know where this is. Alright, so I got my boxes. Door closed. Yeah. One of these is my uh, Marvel Legends Colossus. However, the other one, the big one, is my birthday present to myself from TF Source. So, we'll do an epic unboxing on this right now. Soon. It's gonna be fun. Alright, so right now I have the missus driving right here, soon to be. As you see right there, that's her wedding dress that I picked up. Uh, so right now we are going to my aunt's house and then we're going to drop off the dress, have some dinner. But, like I said before, I watched the uh, Teen Titans movie, the Judas, Judas? Contract, whatever it was. It's pretty good, uh, not bad, it's always nice to see Nightwing and stuff like that. and. Starfire, I think I called her Sunfire before, it's Starfire. I like the relationship between those two. Uh, yeah, it was a good movie, not bad. It has some low points, a little boring once in a while, but, uh, you know, not spoiling anything. Fun to watch, always nice to see. DC always makes awesome adult-like 
cartoon movie, so um, definitely check that out if you can. And I don't know, I, I definitely give it a good solid B+. It wasn't the greatest though, but it was fun, so um, I'm not going to spoil anything on that, so you guys watch that yourself. Uh, other things to look at, you know, it's an interesting movie because the last one I think they had was with the Teen Titans versus Justice League. And they were a little bit younger, or the age that you're used to. And this one, they're a little bit older. I think like three years or, or something like that has gone by. So you could tell like Beast Boy's older, um, Damien's a little older. Also, what's the guy's name? Blue Beetle is definitely older, you can see also. Um, and also Raven, she definitely looks older. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it's nice to see some progress at least. Yeah, all right. All right, guys, so we are back. And I was not able to finish the video the night of because I got back so late. And I was too tired. Just too tired, man. But we're going to finish the video right now. So I'm going to show you guys all the stuff I got from my toy haul. And we'll start with this guy right here. Bam! I was very lucky to get this guy on retail for $19 at Amazon and I have to say guys do not pay the higher prices that some of these websites are having because I saw him now on Amazon for like 48 uh, don't do it they're starting to come out so just be patient everybody even I live in New York and we get Marvel Legends like literally a month after everyone else like Cali gets it way before us like for some odd reason also the Midwest gets it so early I don't know why uh, how that's even possible but, um, yeah, just wait guys, be patient. I haven't even seen Logan at a decent price yet, so when I do, I'll get him also. But I like this, it's pretty cool. I'm a big fan, actually, of like the more modern outfit, if you want to call it that. I don't like the old one. I, I also like the new head scope, so that's pretty cool. So I can't wait to open this guy up. But yeah, wait to get him retail. Um, if you guys are part of like Facebook forums and stuff like that, um, ask around. Maybe someone can get find one for you, but don't pay double. Don't go crazy on them. Be patient. Be patient. And now for the main events, and this is actually a birthday present to myself because I grew up on this guy, my favorite character of all time. You know, Superman's up there, but this guy is this right there also. Um, this is my Woody. This is my this is my Buzz Lightyear, my Woody to uh, Andy. This is mine. Um, yeah, whatever. So, like I said, this is my birthday present. So, my birthday's actually tomorrow. Depending on when I post this, it could be today or it could have passed. But April 8th is my birthday. And if you guys could guess my age... I might give you something cool for free, so I'll try to guess that. Uh, but here he is. Oh, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Bam! That's right. Optimus Primal. Optimal Optimus, or whatever you want to call him. This is from Perfect Effect. Uh, they name him. He is the PEDX06 Beast Gorira. I guess they don't want to say Gorilla, but. Uh, there he is. Oh, man, he looks so cool. Beast Wars was my, is still my favorite cartoon of all time. All time. I grew up on that. I remember when I was younger, every single time new episodes would show up on Sunday mornings, I'd pop in my VHS, click record, and I literally had all three seasons on VHS. I recorded every single episode, every single freaking day. Every single day, man. <sighs> That's how we used to live back then. Um, yeah, so I had the whole three season on VHS for my own personal collection. And Optimus Primal was my favorite. Uh, I can't wait to open this. He is so cool. I used to have the original one actually when I was younger. And, you know, all my toys when I was younger just disappeared sometime during uh, high school because I was stupid back then. You know, you go into high school and you're like, oh man, I can't play with toys. How am I supposed to meet girls? Ugh. So I was one of those idiots that got rid of all my toys. 
uh, entering high school. I was fortunate enough to even hang on to them to, through middle school, but um, when I thought it was time for me to start dating or you know trying to get girls, I uh, get rid of all my toys. The fool! I was a fool because even now I, re I buy toys. You gotta, you just have to find the right person. You know, if someone doesn't like you for who you are, screw that person. Uh, but yeah. Now, as an adult, I get to rebuy everything, which is kind of fun too, but uh, it's even better now because, you know, if I had the original one, this is 10 times better, so I cannot wait to open this. So, like, like I said before, guys, this is going to be the busiest month in my life because uh, me and my fiance's wedding is the first week of May, and a lot of planning to do, a lot of stuff to do, so a lot of my time is very occupied but I will try to find some time to view, review these two I have a ton of other stuff to review still but I think I could squeeze in this guy and I just want to get this guy open man I want to open this guy up I want to put him on my shelf I want to display him I want to have him with my beast um, robo what's it called? snap uh, my Optimus Prime well, the convoy one the small one and then I have the transmittal one and then I have him all next to each other in one line. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, what is it called? Robo Machines? It wasn't Beast Wars because it was a Japanese version. This man's gonna bother me now. But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna try to get this guy in as soon as I can because I just, just love him. Alright, so that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole video and you know even the beginning parts and stuff like that and that's about it so thanks for watching like always comment criticize subscribe i appreciate everyone who still watches my videos even though i'm not really active right now uh thanks a lot guys and like i said if you could guess my birthday i might give you guys something for free so uh take a shot but yeah that's about it guys comment criticize subscribe do whatever you want to pay attention follow me on facebook twitter and Instagram at wildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace.